What is up YouTube? In this video we're going to be showing you on a Wiesmann boiler F4 flame detection failure, flame detection error. That is the fault code. I'm going to be looking at common causes of this fault code. Now this sequence that we go through, that I go through, works on a range of boilers with a flame failure fault code. So firstly, the obvious one. You want to be checking you've got gas. So you check you've got gas at the gas valve. Correct pressure, etc. Secondly, you check your electrodes, the things that cause the gas to ignite. You're looking for a spark gap of about a pound, pound coin in between them. Checking for cracks. <clears throat> if you've cracked, one of those cracked, the, the spark is gonna jump lower down than where it's supposed to. Then you'll be checking your electrode leads for continuity. If that's broken, not getting power up to the electrodes, it's not gonna spark. Following that, you check your gas valve is opening. Manometer on P1. So you might, let's say there's 20 millibar there. Shut your gas, shut your gas tap to your boiler. You should still have 20 millibar there. Let the boiler try and light up. Pressure goes, your gas valve's opening. Also could be debris in the gas valve. Remove the connections, have a look inside. Sometimes they get shaled up a bit. Try and clean it out. It's quite rare though that that happens. Finally, I'll be checking the heat exchanger, your flueways, your airways. So you're removing the burner cover on the heat exchanger of the uh, the Wiesmann or the Baxes or the Valence. Clean your airways out. Soft brush, 50-50 water, white vinegar solution. Rinse it down with clean water afterwards. Make sure you clean your condensate trap after that because that's where it all goes. Anyway, hope this video helps. If it does, please drop a smash a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Might be teaching you how to suck eggs, but this fairly to light it works on quite a lot of boilers. Obviously it can always be the PCB, but run through this sequence first and hopefully you'll find the issue. Thanks for watching.